barbershop conversation guys feel free to hit the subscribe button so triple g comes in at 162 and kale brook comes in at 167 you know what i'm beginning to think too maybe this was like the marketing ploy by them say throughout the weigh-ins because honestly when was the last time we followed a 30-day weigh-in 15-day weigh-in seven-day weigh-in I think this was a marketing play. At the end of the day, he's going to get knocked the fuck out. Kell Brook. It's not even going to be a fight. I would, you know, if you if you guys get a chance to go to a Triple G fight, I suggest that you do. Because you need to see this guy fight live. TV does a really good job. You know, they're definitely pro-Golufkin there on HBO, which, which is fair. He's rightfully deserved. He's knocked out everyone he's fought on HBO. Um, but... You got to see his ring walk. His ring walk is that is that of a king, man. He has this like this, uh, um, I, I I guess it's uh, it's a cultural robe he has on because it's kind of designerish. Uh, I, I don't know if it, I would believe it's from his home country, um, and uh, his demeanor is just he has a stoic smile. If there ever is such a thing, you know what I mean, like. <laughs> Man, uh, his ring walks up. I definitely enjoy his ring walk. He, he comes out to three or four songs, you know what I mean? He mixes it up wherever he's at. You know, I'm a fan of Triple G. I mean, I, as you guys know, I be debating with Dante a lot about Triple G, but I, I man, I, I, I think he's a bad man. And uh, he came in at 162 today, and Kel Brook came in at 167. Well, it has to be a storyline somewhere, you know? This is not a. This is the, one of the sexiest fights of the year. Kind of like Amir Khan, Canelo Alvarez. We're always fancying over a great underdog, right? And we got it. And it, it, it's it's kind of like this weekend, USC versus Alabama. It's a sexy game, you know. Here in LA, it's one of the sexiest games we've had in the regular season in a long time. You know, what I mean, in terms of LA teams, you know, it is a sexy as football game but at the end of the day it's gonna be 37 to 17 <laughs> the first half is gonna be gang athleticism first game of the year dory jackson they're gonna pump him up and whoever's on alabama they're gonna pump them up and it's gonna be but at the end of the day those big hogs the front seven will definitely wear and tear on uh usc so expect Alabama to win that game. I don't know what the spread is for that game, but I'll definitely look at it. I get back into my betting mode now. I love betting college football, you know, because the games be so lopsided, especially the first couple weeks of the season. You just got to be on the right side of them, obviously, right? So, anyways, um, next Saturday, I just got my credential for uh, for Chocolatito, so I'll, I'll probably cover up to the fight. I'm uncertain if I'm going to the fight because. I don't know if you guys know, I am addicted to football and I'm addicted to hanging out with my friends. You know what I mean? And Saturday is a great day to hang out with my friends. You know what I mean? We got two fights. We have football all day. You know, it's, it's, it's just one of them days. So I'm uncertain because Triple G is fighting abroad and Chocolatito is fighting at home. And I didn't get the deal. Well, we're still working on it, but I didn't get the deal before the fight. I'm, I'm, I'm so. Uh, I'm working with uh, Chocolatito's team now, trying to get a, uh, trying to do a, a short film on them or something like that. I'm not sure the length of it yet, but uh, 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 we're in negotiations of that. We in negotiations in that right now, but uh, it's hard to do that when you can't break camp and HBO has has the rights to them right now. So in terms of fight week and everything else, so uh, barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. But ask yourself, when was the last time you paid attention to weights before the fight? Not unless the guy was a fat pig before the fight, like a, uh, I would say like a, like Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. You know, uh, he's all he's had recently issues making weight. And Peter Quillen, his next fight, if you've seen his pictures, <laughs> what is he going to come in at? So anyways, barbershop conversations, feel free hit the subscribe button tell a friend and uh, we got chocolatito pound for pound top five you know what i mean i think he's slightly overrated in terms of pound for pound 
So, but we're going to see him move up in way he's fighting a, a world champion. And uh, we're going to make this happen. But uh, Kale Brook is going to look amazing at the, on the day of the weigh-in. Triple G is going to look like Triple G. And before I get off this, you got to give these Floyd Mayweathers and Triple Gs at the end of the day. I hate saying that. Gosh. Um, these guys work out when they're not supposed to be working out. You got it. Looking at Triple G's weight today, 167. I- I'm being honest. I can cut weight. I can cut 10 pounds in two days easily. Like, really, you guys don't ask me how. Basically, you don't eat and you work out. I mean, that's basically it. You eat ice chips. You eat flavored ice chips. You know what I mean? You do whatever you need to do. Seven pounds. Triple G. I mean, not Triple G. Kale Brook is great. Seven pounds because he's going to lose. Four, he's going to lose uh, three to. He's going to lose a seven pound starting on Tuesday. And he'll come in Friday at probably 159 and a half. But Triple G, 162, seven days before the fight. Truth. You know what that says about Triple G? His life is geared around boxing. And for him to do that at age 35, for Floyd Mayweather to do that at age 38, you guys need to tip your hats to these guys if you love boxing and, and you care about the discipline of bo- the disciplines of boxing because these guys are just flat out phenomenal. Whereas you got a guy like Adrian Broner in the, at the prime of his career eating himself out, no, poorly disciplining himself out of a weight class. He would only have to fight one fighter. You know how big that Terrence Crawford, Adrian Broner fight would be at 140? That would be a big ass fight because Adrian Broner would would win fights up until then. Um, and he'll definitely promote himself outside the ring. But at 47, he's a he's a middle of the road guy. I mean, if, if I'm not fighting at 147, I'm licking my chops trying to get to Adrian Broner. Oh, you need me to take less money? Oh, yeah, I'll take less money. Because he's going to... Just imagine, I mean, if uh, if Instagram and YouTube leads to money, monetary value, monetary equity, uh, imagine how much your Instagram will grow if you're fighting, or your YouTube clicks will grow if you're fighting Adrian Broner or Floyd Mayweather, you know? So anyways, I, I, I just want to say that Triple G deserves credit, Floyd Mayweather deserves credit, uh, and there are other people in boxing, but... Um, I'm just going to highlight these two guys because these guys are definitely on. They are polarizing athletes for different reasons, but you definitely have an opinion on these two guys. You know, Triple G ain't fought nobody. Floyd Mayweather duck. Floyd Mayweather's black. Uh, Triple G resume is not that great. Well, time will tell. So anyways, Barbershop Comments says, truly appreciate you guys. Bro, we got a fight. We got two fights next Saturday and we got college football. It's going to be a hell of a weekend next Saturday. And we got USC. I equate USC to Triple G. Uh, it's, the, it's the sexiest game of the weekend, and it's going to be a blowout. Next weekend, Triple G is the sexiest fight of the weekend, and it's going to be a blowout. So, I right, guys, talk to you guys soon. Peace, guys.